This is the Einstein rock paradox. We start by counting the rocks in this row here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we count the rocks on this side here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Next, we count the rocks on the top. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And last, we count the rocks on the bottom. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we take an extra rock. Remember, eight times four is 32. And we take the extra rock, we put it there. Right after we put it there, this rock gets moved up to there. Now, we switch the green rock with the purple rock. We'll move this rock here and this rock here. And now, once again, we count the rock piles, beginning with the pile over here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On this side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the top, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the bottom, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, we take a red rock. The red rock gets added here and we join it with the green rock. Now, we'll switch this rock back to where it came from there. This one gets moved here. This one gets moved there. And now we count the piles again. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the bottom, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, now, you should know, this is not a, uh, a magic trick. It's not sleight of hand. You can go back, watch the video again, make sure I'm not adding any secret rocks. Every rock stays in full view the whole time. We're gonna take one more rock here. This time, the rock gets added there. After we add it there, another rock will go over to that pile, and then two rocks will go over uh, to this side here. We'll pull this rock here, this rock gets pulled over here, and then last, this rock will get switched with that rock over there. Now when we've done that, let me, let me clean up the piles. Here's where things get really crazy after we get everything clean. Now we count over here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On this side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the top, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the bottom, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we take another rock. I know it's getting really crazy. The next rock, right? Next rock goes right here. Then we switch this rock, we add that rock to that pile, right? We add this rock to make a really big pile. Usually I would put this down here, but we're gonna keep that rock where it is in that big pile. And then we switch this rock with this rock. And then I think if we've done that right, we should be done. Let me do the math here. Yeah, it looks good. Look again, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. On this side, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the top, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the bottom, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now here's where things get really crazy. Look, I'm not gonna take any rocks away. I'm just gonna bring them into one big pile, all right? Not taking any rocks away. Now we're gonna add rocks. Here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four, and here's five. Now we've got a big pile of rocks, and the crazy thing is, even though we started with four rows of eight, uh, eight times four, 32, we added four rocks, then we added five rocks. Look how many rocks are on the count. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here's nine, there's 10. Now over here, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and there's one. So even when you add all those rocks, you're left with 31 less than you started with.
It's amazing. It's the Einstein rock paradox. And if you think I'm doing anything tricky, go back, watch it from the start. You can see there's nothing tricky, no extra rocks, no rocks taken away, nothing like that. This is a real paradox.